Okay, when you log into the Glowforge app, it looks like this. You're gonna log in as me, or click on Glowforge. Oh, I mean create. And we are gonna create a new design. You can see that I have, these are previous designs that have been placed in here. We're gonna click create new design, upload file. I need to find Jenny Bird 7. We'll open it. And it's gonna process it. Now, if Glowforge doesn't like my file, like for example, um, one of my images not a, isn't a vector or something like that, it's not gonna take it and it won't work. So um, just know that that's kind of an important part of this process. It takes a moment to render your design. All right, we're ready to go. And if I click on a material that the Glowforge knows, it understands my file. See how my orange line is back? And so is my, my blue engraving. So that's why we did that dual color situation. If I select and drag, it'll select the whole thing. Otherwise, I can just um, ungroup it and I can move them individually, but I, I wanna keep them together. So right now, as I've chosen the light bass plywood, <clears throat> it's gonna cut on my orange line and engrave my blue line. Now, if I wanna change things, like for example, if I have a special kind of wood or I wanna manually adjust the settings, I can do so, um, but that is a whole nother video. But right now, I'm gonna just keep it as is. And if I was connected to my Glowforge, I would click this button, it would wait a second, and then I would go back into the room and push the glowing magic button in the glow on the Glowforge.